Hi, I'm Chris Matson. Did you know that you can live a life that is full of bliss, magnificence, complete exactly your purpose of life, and filled with every moment being infilled with with such beauty and truth and wisdom and joy and inspiration and passion and life itself emerging through you and that every breath is the I am. I am alive. I am in the perfection of this moment all that the love itself could or would or is in this moment. So often we talk about love in more of an intellectual capacity. Something like, I love this chocolate, I'm in love with this person, etc. Within your heart, you know the difference. I don't even have to uh, go into great detail and explain. You know there is a divine love, a pure love, an unconditional love. A love that actually is in charge of the universe itself. That a love that as soon as we say love is this, that we put it in a box and it's just a slight glimmer of what it truly is. Love itself is ever emerging, yet it has always been. It is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, which to love is all in this moment of now. Love fires the sun, is the sun. Love is our very consciousness. Love is no thing, nowhere. Yet all things come from it and it is it. Love itself is. Love is I am. Love is whatever words you choose to describe. It's like this endless fractals of, of beauty ever emerging and love is the totality of it all, yet every minor minuscule aspect from the micro to the macro. Love is that which upholds all things. On this world, the planet itself is moving in the perfection of love what it orchestrated. There is no problem on the planet itself in nature. Nature is programmed by love itself to thrive. The fish in this beautiful lake are, are at this moment in an awesome environment. The, the, the seaweeds, all everything in it is, is awesome. The, uh, the clouds are dancing in the perfection, the, the rains and the winds and the, and the sun. All of this. The trees are, are in their perfection. Everything. There is, however, an emerging on this planet, which is human consciousness. Now, human consciousness is a free will. It is the image of this love itself expressing through us. In truth, there is only one us, there is one love, one mind, one the, what the Tao would, would call the, the no thing yet everything, all of this. Now, you, as a participator on this planet, as a cell in the body of humanity, have an essential and important part to play. Like we were saying, the the planet itself is in its perfection, and uh, with humans on it or not, it's going to thrive. It does what it does. We are caretakers. We have the capacity and the incredible power given to us that we can change the ecological systems. We can change whatever's going on on the planet for good or in ways that are detriment to the perfection of the balance of these ecosystems. 
in our culture, we have been since birth programmed into these beliefs of this is the way it is, and so basically deal with it. Uh, victim mentalities. Whereas love itself, in ever emerging and expressing, it will and does, the moment we vision it, it coalesces it into being. So what we're seeing that we call wars and famines and Illuminati control and GMO foods and all of these things that are less than the perfection of love itself expressing through us, all of these things are caused uh, through the consciousness of man. The moment that man, collectively and individually, chooses love over war, or love over fear, to be more precise, or love over a lack, a belief in lack and limitation, that in order for me or my people to have, we must take from this group of people. When love itself is allowed to have its way, then heaven on earth emerges. Heaven is simply love expressing. Wherever love is expressing, there is heaven. That's why we love to go to nature so much. Uh, because in nature, we're getting the full, beautiful magnificence of love itself that is unaltered by the consciousness of uh, man infiltrating its essence. Now, for you, in this moment, this is how you can have heaven. Is simply know that this moment is an opportunity to love. <clears throat> Again, I don't have to even explain to you what that means because when you were born, you were born from the spark of divinity itself. From uh, you are a log from the fire of of the bonfire of love itself. You are a drop in the ocean of this love. You are an aspect of the same mind that formed you that and all that is. You are this, and that aspect of yourself can now choose to live its purpose, its dharma, which is to love, love expressing, love emerging. Whatever issue there seems to be on the planet, its root nature is based on an aspect where consciousness, humans, have not allowed love to have its perfect way. And because we are free will beings, that is our prerogative. And so, in your life, it, whether it, it, there's an appearance of an illness, some sort of a disease, there's a um, aspect of a, a lack or limitation, or a sense of uh, being a slavery to a system that you are very not happy in, whatever it is, love itself has a solution and a way out of that into the emerging of something beautiful, something incredible. You see, this is why. Programmed within all energy, everything is energy, which in truth is consciousness, uh, but programmed within all of it is a response to love to what that's why because that's why everything was here to begin with is to be an expression of love so when love infills a person's consciousness what happens is is what what you could call the external from their you know the observer and being observed uh, they become one and that you recognize that this is an opportunity to love. So, this is what you do. In this moment, and every moment to follow, very simple. Rather than move in your vision of, this is the way it's been, this is what my life is, and so, you know, cause and effect, I react and 
and then act again and react to the situations around me, rather than that, completely shift the entire paradigm of your life into this. What is love's vision? What is love's vision here? What is the outcome that love would most greatly desire? What is that? And then move within that knowing that love has already said yes. This infinite, all-powerful love says yes. So rather than, it's kind of like in the Bible where it says, not my will, but thy will be done. You know, that's pretty cool stuff because it essentially says it. You see, we were not uh, put on this planet to move in our ego, to move in the lower self of thinking that somehow it's dog eat dog or, and survival of the fittest and that if somehow I can come up with the right equation or business idea or make this business contract or work really hard that somehow I will be happy and successful or if somehow this particular person or whatever comes into my life and I get this home or whatever that somehow then I'll be happy that's not love's program love's program is in this moment now right now this moment this moment you see this moment you already have all that you require all that is required in this moment is yours now including the ability to emerge, to go down a new path into a greater vision and calling. A lot of times we hear that it's, you know, everything's perfect. Well, it is perfect. And because our consciousness has created what is, and part of that perfection is our ability to now move into a greater expression of what love's vision is. You see, every individual on the planet can either move in their own vision or love's vision or kind of a combination of both. And to the degree that we move in love's vision is the degree that true, true happiness comes. Many of us have uh, become wealthy and then discovered that, you know what, this really didn't uh, do for me what I thought it would. Many of us have become uh, fairly famous uh, through music or somehow in the arts or whatever, and they found out that, you know what, this really isn't cutting it. Many have come into positions of power in corporations and then found how shallow that really is. Many people have gone to great lengths to beautify their, their bodies exercises and everything and liposuctions you name it and uh, a lot of money on clothes etc only to find that uh, it's still them only in a different exterior and that that so called greater vision of them uh, through that really didn't do much what love does is it gets past all of the 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 non-authentic things in life and gives us exactly what we truly need. It'd be kind of like, say you have a plant uh, and it's sitting in your closet and you keep putting chlorine bleach in the soil. Well, obviously it, it's going to get sick and die. Now, if you put that same plant in the sunlight and really good water, you know, proper soil for it, then it's going to blossom, it's, it's going to produce flowers and be magnificent because it's living within the that which love has set for its requirements. You have requirements and all of those things within you that, that you crave, love itself is what will fill it. You see, it's not a matter of something external. And, and that love is with you now. All that you require is here right now in this moment. This moment, wherever you are. You could be a homeless person 
in the middle of a big city in the middle of winter without food or any money in your pocket. And this moment, start, start by knowing this is love's vision. What is love's vision for me now? And love itself will propel you. You could be somebody who is wealthy and think you have it made on the surface level. Uh, and you know what? But you know in your heart that you're no better off than that beggar because there's an emptiness within you. It's like your life is trapped. Again, to you, the same thing in this moment. What is love's vision for my life? What is love's vision? Now, here's the beautiful truth, is that love itself, in your silence, will respond and give you the answer. You are, I guarantee you, 100%, you are never without the answer as you hear love's voice, and love's voice is ever speaking. The sun is ever shining. Even when it's midnight and it looks dark out, the sun is ever shining. You have a direct connection with love's voice in every moment. Love will teach you. And love will also show you what is not love. And we know that because there's a reaction that happens in our life that isn't beautiful and authentic and true and emerging and life-giving and creates thriving environments. The only thing to attach to in life is love. And love itself is not attached. Such a, a beautiful, 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 beautiful life. Remember, heaven is simply wherever love is expressing. Welcome to Living Love's Vision. This is the beginning of what is an ever-emerging, and you are the next expression of it, the next seed in it. Bear fruit and give that, the seed of your fruit, unto the entire planet. Love has a vision for the whole globe, and that's for people in every land to be one, to be one mind, one love in many communities of thriving environments and children that are born into a free world where love governs rather than fear, where endless supply is known by all rather than lack and limitation where solutions are within every heart, for every heart is love. I love you, and welcome to the beginning of living love's vision. Chris Matson.